Hi there. I'm going to show you quickly how I built navigation into this instructional by creating hyperlinks to bookmarks or anchors that are automatically generated for each step. So basically, I uh, created a list of steps here, uh, six steps in my uh, instructable. Only really needed one, but we're trying to demonstrate. One of my steps is a table of contents. So I'll just navigate to this. You'll see I've listed the six steps in my instructable. Four of them have hyperlinks already, and I'm going to show you how to uh, get some hyperlinks on the last two. So the first thing you want to do is place your cursor on the line where you want to insert your hyperlink. Move up to the button bar, select link, insert a link, don't break a link. And then you're going to choose the type of link here. You want an anchor. And then you're going to type in the name of the anchor. Now the name of the anchor is very specific. In fact, it's exactly the same as the step number you're going to. So in our example, we're going to step number five. Now, when you type this in, there's no spaces and no capitals. Step five. Then put in a little text to describe what it is you want to do. We'll say a link to step five and say insert. And you'll see it's created a link that's now going to take us to step five. I should also let you know this is only going to work when you go live. So it'll be working for you, but right now it doesn't work for me. Let's do this again. This time we'll uh, select the text we want to create a link with. Go to insert a link on the button bar. Insert the link. Choose anchor. And you'll notice it uh, put in text for us already, which is kind of handy. And this one is step six. And I can see that because I'm looking at my table of contents. Hit insert. It's taken our existing text, highlighted it, and we're done. All we have to do is publish this to go live, and these links will now work. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the link. If I point at it and click on it, you'll see that I can edit the link, I can unlink it, and it shows me the step that I'm linked to. And this is the same for each of these. One thing you'll notice is the small pound sign in front of the ID. And this indicates to our browser that this is a local bookmark. It's not an external bookmark to another website or an image or something. Anyways, that's uh, basically it. I think you know how to do it yourself. So uh, please feel free to say you made this or you tried it out in your website. Ciao for now.